get the law's results. Turn to Matthew 12. So when you look at Matthew 12, let's look at verse 22. This is a clear understanding of the kingdom. Because you got to understand, Christ was telling them. So when you look at Matthew 12, verse 22, it said, Then a demon-possessed man, so in other words, that's saying now, a man had a demon in him, which was an evil spirit. Who was blind. So he had a demon of blindness. And a mute. He was brought to Jesus. And he healed them. So that the mute man spoke. And that he saw. All the crowds were amazed. And they were saying. This man cannot be the son of David. Can he? But when the Pharisees heard. In other words. Talking about the religious leaders. When the Pharisees heard this. They said this man cast out demons. Only by Bezabub, the ruler of demons. So in other words, they seen Jesus cast this demon out of this man. Now they church folk. They don't got so used to the demons being in the man. They ain't even attempt to do it. But the moment Jesus came and cast the demon out of the man, they said that Jesus had a demon. Isn't that what we do? Somebody do some stuff that we don't do or that we don't know anything about. And we say, that's crazy. See, it's crazy to you because you don't have a revelation of who God is. See, because Jesus was bringing something new to the church. And they, did, they was rejecting it because they got comfortable. See, I hear the Holy Ghost. See, the church have got comfortable with you being weak. The church got comfortable with you having no power. The church don't got comfortable with you that you don't know how to cast out no demons. The church don't got comfortable with you that you don't know how to heal the sick. You don't know how to raise the dead. We got more people in the church taking pills. We got more people in the church depressed. We got more people in the church don't know who God is. Because all we know is to do is to sit down. Not understanding the devil said that's what I want you to do. Because you ain't got no power. And they got mad. Look at the scripture. They got mad with Jesus. Because it says here. He said verse 25. Uh, verse 25 say. And knowing their thoughts. Talking about Jesus. Jesus said to them. See that's why when you had a Holy Ghost. He would let you discern what people are saying. He, he knew that they were saying that he had a demon in him. And Jesus said to them. Any kingdom divided against itself is laid waste. And any city or house divided against itself will not stand. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then would it be, how else then would it be that his kingdom would stand? <coughs> so Jesus was giving them a principle of the kingdom. Say, if I was Satan, he said, in other words, Satan, Satan can't cast out Satan. Because see, gee, you got to understand the demonic kingdom work together. Church folks is the one don't work together. Because I don't like this one. She got more anointing than me. She sang and I want to sing. See, we're looking at the natural things. Now understand that Jesus saying, if I'm in the church and you got a problem with your sister or your brother and you don't rectify that problem, what you have now did was you have come out of the kingdom. Help me, Jesus. You have come out of the kingdom when you mad with your sister and you ain't made it right. You have come out of the kingdom when you when you hate the person who you're supposed to love. Jesus said, how can you love your brother? How can you say you love me, but you can't love the one you see? Come on, y'all. You telling me you can't you can't stand this person right here, but you telling me you love the Lord. You telling a lie. You have come out of the kingdom because the kingdoms don't tolerate division. In the kingdom, he was trying to let them know the laws of the kingdom. Satan wouldn't have cast out Satan. That's what he was trying to tell them. He said, so if you're a believer, and if you see another one of your sisters, they praying and they war with somebody. If you're in the kingdom of God, you may not know them. But you're going to pray. We can do all things through Christ Jesus. You can make it, sister. You can make it, brother. I'm praying for you. But see, when we back up and disconnect, who they think they is. I don't like you. What you have now done is you have disconnected yourself 
from the kingdom of God. Do that make sense to you? And we wondering why the devil is having a field day in our churches is because we don't understand how the kingdom is reigned. Mm. You have made yourself a God. They hurt my feelings. Well, God will put you somewhere where they're going to deal with your rebellious self. Mm. See, but you got to be willing to say, I'm rebellious. You got to be willing to say, I need that. You see what I'm saying? You got to be willing to say, yep, yeah, you're right, I'm jacked up, and I need somebody to tell me. I have been ch into churches, and they never told me about me. I have been in churches where I was singing in the choir. I was an usher, but I was giving money to Shaka Zulu. Put my hand all on the man. But in church, how we're blessed in the city. We're blessed. While I'm married, taking the rent money, saying Shaka Zulu. Nobody never picked that up in me. Mm. Nobody never told me that I was wrong. But we'll say that's love. Mm. They ain't never told. No, see, that's the system of the world. The system of the world is saying, let you do what you want to do. But the kingdom of God saying, no, you got to submit to the king. If the king saying, when you look at a man or a woman, in, in your mind, and you looking at them in another, ooh, I can just visualize and having sex with them. You have already committed adultery. That's what the kingdom say. You may not like it, but what you sign up for, I tell you what, go to the army and tell them that you're not going to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Tell them and see what they're going to do to you. Or don't show up to formation. Formation at 6 o'clock and you don't be there. Hmm. We have had people that had that didn't bathe. And I began to say, so I'm sorry, I took no bath. We got other grown men will pick up them men and gonna take them in there and gonna bathe them. Because guess what? You gave your life to the government. See, but in the kingdom of God, you try to tell God what you ain't gonna do. 